a reading from the uh, United Independent Compensatory Code System concept, a textbook workbook for thought, speech, and or action for victims of racism, which Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. calls white supremacy. And this is the book for Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. that we'll be reading from today. This is the original, well, this is a reproduction of the original 1984 book. Uh, you can get the book, uh, this as well as the uh, 2016 um, the 2016 um, revised edition of this uh, plus the word guide at producejustice.com. That's producejustice.com where books are available. And plus, Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. Uh, transmits every Tuesday uh, to us over the internet. And um, you can also catch him there. Uh, remember, this is a book. This is our Sunday sermon book. Uh, a book that we use as a, for our Sunday sermons, but it's a book for us. It's our scripture. And so we, um, for today's, for this Sunday sermon, we go to page uh, 185. And uh, right in the middle of page, someplace, uh, we just go, um, as long as white supremacy exists, it is correct for all non-white people to refrain from attempted or pretended marriage. They should instead devote their time to those activities that will help best to eliminate racism. In addition, it is incorrect for any non-white person to wish to marry any white person who practices white supremacy, which is racism. To express uh, such wishes by either word or deed is to help to maintain and give a more refined strength to the power of white supremacist races, in other words. To speak or act to make such wishes a reality will result in a continuation of the waste, deceit, confusion, and conflict that most often exists between non-white males and females. Such speech and action will also result in a greater promotion of the trivial priorities that dominate the thinking of non-white males and females when they consider themselves to be married. Devoid participation in any racist-dominated so-called marriage is one of the easiest and most effective means by which those non-white persons who are dedicated to the elimination of racism, white supremacy, can better do so. Don't get married. That's what it seems to be saying here. Uh, because that institution, well, there's all this froth with all kinds of uh, traps inside doors and back doors and side angles. So that's our reading for this uh, Sunday sermon from the tome that we use, from the description that we use from uh, 185 uh, to the top of 186. And uh, the sex section. There are not, well, there, there's nine areas of, of uh, people activity, as Ms. Neely Fuller Jr. would tell you. And um, out of the nine areas, this uh, particular area here, well, let me just tell you, the, if I can get to it. Oh, come on, come on, it's listed right there very nicely. There we go. The nine areas of, uh, or nine major areas of people activity and the known user versus Mr. Neil Fuller Jr. says in this uh, 1984 um, edition is uh, one, uh, economics, two, education, three, entertainment, four, labor, uh, five, law, six, politics, seven, religion, um, eight, sex, nine, war. And uh, when we uh, deal right now, uh, Mr. Neely Fuller Jr., on his Tuesday broadcast, he doesn't deal with the war, counter-war section. Um, uh, but we do, we, we will, uh, well, we will. <laughs> Uh, what said, and, and while we're in the states here, we do deal with the sex. Mister Miller Fuller doesn't deal with the sex. Um, uh, well, he does deal with the sex, the sex section. But while we're here, while we go to uh, South Africa and Dumbaza, where we do our readings in Dumbaza, we won't be dealing with the sex section. But here, we deal with all sections. So 
That's it. Reading from me. T from the Patterson's taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.